When thinking about buying a house, have you ever thought to yourself, why can't they just use my rental payment history? Well, you're in luck because now they can. Hello everyone, I'm Jen, your Delaware Realtor. In my experience with working with buyers these past few years, almost every single first time home buyer has said to me, I really wish underwriting would take into consideration my rental payment history. Now, <laughs> that's not exactly what they say, but that is the gist of what they're trying to say. Well, good news. Fannie Mae just announced that starting September 18th, 2021, it is going to take rental payment history into consideration with mortgage decisioning. The underwriter will look at the past 12 months of rental payments, and if all of them are on time, that will weigh positively on your credit assessment. Now, if you have a missed payment in your rental history, this will not be used because this is only intended to positively help you not hurt. Fannie Mae is intending to help borrowers with limited credit histories get better access to home loans. If your credit score meets the criteria already, you don't even have to worry about this because they're not going to ask to see your rental payment history. I know in the past, many of my buyers have complained because they are paying higher rent payments than they would be if they just had a mortgage. But because they have limited credit history, they don't really have anything to back them up to make them credit worthy. So it, by Fannie Mae taking this into consideration now, they have a better chance of getting approved for a home loan. Fannie Mae has stated that this move to include rental payment history is not so to lower the bar on credit approvals, but more so to give the consumers that may not look financially responsible a chance to factor in those rental payments, especially if the borrower has no credit history. The borrower will need to give the underwriter access to their bank accounts to verify that there are 12 on-time payments. So if you make your rent payment on a credit card or by paying cash, unfortunately that cannot be factored in. While the housing market remains hot, a lot of first time home buyers have been left to sit on the sidelines. According to Fannie Mae, the majority of the mortgages originated in the second quarter went to borrowers with credit scores above 760. And for those that weren't approved, 17.6% would have been approved if they would have allowed rental payment history to be factored in. In the past, collecting rental payment history has been difficult because normally the rent payments are made directly to the landlord and the landlord isn't reporting that to the credit bureaus. But by using this banking system, you essentially take out the middleman and there's also a paper trail. Many of the big banks are looking at different avenues for determining whether a borrower is eligible for a mortgage. And this is a huge step in the right direction as Fannie Mae tries to adapt to today's climate and today's consumer. I for one think this is great news and really long overdue. This is going to help so many young renters take those first steps into the dream of home ownership. As always, I will keep you up to date on the ever-changing real estate market, but you have to be subscribed to the channel so that you never miss a new video. I really hope that this video helps. If it did, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you're wondering about what's happening, local events going on in Delaware, be sure to sign up for my email list down below, and I will see you on the next one. Hey, were you curious about Delaware's real estate market? Check out this video right here. And if you would love to tour Delaware New Construction Homes with me, check out this playlist right here. And don't forget, subscribe to my channel.